Okay, so once again, we're going to be solving second order differential equations. And the first step in doing so is recognizing that we're going to have a y of t is e to the rt is our solution. And we saw in the previous example that if you take the first and second derivative, substitute everything in and cancel out the e to the rt, you're left with an r squared plus 6 times r plus 13 is equal to 0. And again, that is our auxiliary equation. So when we solve these, again, we can try factoring, and we could also use the quadratic formula, but it's also helpful to consider completing the square. So when we complete the square with this one, we're going to first move the 13 over to the other side by subtracting 13. Then remember, we always take half of that middle number, square it, and add it to both sides. So we're going to be taking half of 6, which is 3, squaring 3, which is 9, and adding a 9 onto both sides of the differential equation. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. And in doing so, your left-hand side is going to be a perfect square trinomial. It's just an r plus 3 squared. And on the right-hand side, negative 13 plus 9 makes a negative 4. So we're going to have a negative 4 on that side. And then we can take the square root of both sides, as we normally do. And that's going to give us an r plus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of negative 4. So that's r plus 3 equals plus or minus 2i. So r is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 2i. Now we saw in the notes that the real part of this complex number always becomes the coefficient on the exponential. And the imaginary part of this complex number always becomes the coefficient on t inside of the sine and cosine functions. So our solution is going to be y of t is c1 e to the negative 3t times the cosine of 2t plus a second arbitrary constant c2 e to the negative 3t times the sine of 2t. And this gives us our real solution for our real differential equation. And we just use the complex numbers to get to that solution. All right, so that is how we handle the complex case. We could have also used the quadratic formula for this, but usually people make more mistakes with that formula than completing the square. So I always opt for completing the square whenever you have an even coefficient on the y prime.